someone doing terrible things. Um, I really do love Gail King, and she's been one of my idols. Uh, you know, seeing a black woman in a space next to Oprah, killing it. Um, but recently, she had an interview with the legendary Lisa Leslie, and during this interview on CBS, she spoke out about Kobe Bryant, um, and she mentioned his, uh, you know, the accusations that were made against him uh, in 2003. So this sparked just a viral outrage. Uh, people like Snoop Dogg, Lil Boosie all spoke out. Um, she was crowned donkey of the day yesterday. Um, and so basically her just bringing up the comments in the interview is what people had problems with. You know, why tie his legacy with the rape you know, accusation? Um, man, what are you guys' thoughts on this? This is... A lot to unpack with just a week and a half after him passing, still kind of digesting that. Uh, I have several issues uh, with Gail King, with the interview and then the way she approached this so-called apology. Mm -hmm. um, I thought Lisa Leslie handled it with the utmost grace. She did. Um, mm -hmm. She deflected and she kind of just kept it real and said, look, these are questions that, you know... Should stop asking. Should stop <laughs> asking. It's, it's not the right time. It's, you know, it isn't the right form either. Mm -hmm. And Gail King... To me, I didn't, I didn't view it as an apology because she kind of danced around it. She mm -hmm. blamed the network for the way they edited it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she started off by making it seem like, I don't know what the big deal is because all the feedback we got was so positive. Yeah. Then she like nicely threw in there, I've, I've known Kobe, we've had a friendly relationship, he was always warm to me. But yet you still haven't apologized to the family. Mm -hmm. At no point during that clip did she say, I apologize to Vanessa and his daughters for offending them in any way. Yeah. yeah, She made it all about herself. It was very self-centered. It yeah. was all about her reputation as opposed to you sat there and you talked ill of this man. He can't defend himself. Mm -hmm. And your good friend Michael Blackson made a great point. Yeah. You know, he was, you had a lot of time to ask him about this when he was alive, yeah. when he was winning championships. He was so concerned about right. it. Right, if, if it meant so much to you, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure any one of those moments you guys were around each other, you could have pulled him to the side and asked him. Yeah. Yeah. And as we talked about last week, another situation of somebody searching for clout. Yeah. And, you know, as, as you as you mentioned, you know, she's apologizing and saying, oh, you know, he was so warm to me. He was such mm -hmm. this and that. OK, so if you really needed to have this conversation, you've known this man for some time now. You've you've had interactions with him. You could have asked him to sit down with you mm -hmm. and discuss the issue while he was here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I do understand that networks will put out what they want to put out, but Gail King has control over yeah. things that she asks and yeah. does not ask. Of course. Yeah. There's, I, there's no doubt in my mind. Like She's not she's not somebody who just got hired by NBC and they got to do whatever the producer says. No, she has that power to say, eh, maybe this is not the right time for us to go over this. And I do, you know, shout out to Lisa Leslie. I, I love the way she handled it, you know, because she basically threw it back at her, you know, like. She said you should stop, yeah. Yeah, when, and she, you know, she kept, I like what she did, though, because she kept the general and said the media should stop. She, but you are the media, right. Gail. She, she checked her. Yeah. In, the, in the most eloquent, like, she checked mm -hmm. her. Um, I didn't mean to cut you off with your, no, your point. Um, just last week, we spoke about Lindsey Granger, who went on air, you know, really going off on Daily Blast in regards to another journalist that retweeted something about yes. the case, right? And there was something that she said during um, that kind of rant of her defending Kobe's legacy that she was saying, um, don't use someone's worst day on earth as a referendum in totality. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's crazy because not only, we, you know, we went in last week about how the case was dismissed, right? But when Gail apologized, I thought it wasn't genuine. It wasn't. I thought that it was like... Yeah. It was about her rep. Even, yes. And even when she started the apology, right, she said, I see the comments you guys are making online and if, if I were you and I seen the same, you know, clip, and we all know as journalists, sometimes people take sound bites, right? Sometimes yeah. people can take a clip of something and that's all someone's seen. Right. Well, mm -hmm. yes, you're defending that that one clip was seen, but that shouldn't have even been... You brought his good friend on air to speak about his legacy and about the good times and everything. Yeah, and you're but you still asked that it. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think what was disappointing um, is we've seen a lot of um, you know white journalists when oftentimes when black men are not only when they pass away but during their their uh, just them doing work they try to tarnish their legacy. So I think a lot of people kind of crucified her because yeah. being a black woman it was like where is the protection? You know, and I'm sure Lisa Leslie 
also didn't expect that to come from her. Yeah. No, no, you know? even in in even in the in the in the clip when she's asking her and she's 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 telling the Kobe that she knows. And she was telling the story how, yeah, I've been out in the clubs with Kobe. Yeah. He's not out here trying to get me to holler at this chick, this chick, send over drinks and do this. Yeah. And she's like, and I've been around players that do that. Yeah. Kobe's never done that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I, I was just so happy that the way she was going in. And she kept pushing. It. Yeah. And the thing is, yeah. with, I think what makes the situation worse is that we're already, you know what I'm saying, who's, who's her best friend? Oprah, Oprah right? Yeah. And we've been in the last couple of weeks getting that Oprah over you know her He's way of, of of yeah bringing down you know black men now yeah. listen we we're not letting anybody slide if you out here acting reckless of course. but if we're going to hold people accountable let's hold everybody accountable and also sorry and when you're when when you're known associate of guys like Harvey Weinstein right. Epstein you've been out here with Trump and you're not doing anything on these guys, you're not speaking on none of those guys, mm -hmm. but any time a black man, and again, you know, that whole Kobe situation, that, that thing was dropped. There was, yeah. He never, you know what I'm saying? So that's I, a situation where he's not even, you know, convicted of anything. I think when it, and it's so, it's so hard to talk about this because Oprah is someone that's like, man, <laughs> that Oprah and Gail are like, they've paid the way for me, you know what I mean? So I love them, but... It's been hard to watch not only holding someone accountable, but hold them accountable when they're alive. That's yeah. my that's my right. point. Like that's what pissed me off like about the whole Michael Jackson that's thing. That's the thing because when I seen the Michael, <laughs> the only one that I'm like, okay, Oprah. At least Russell Simmons is alive, okay? So he got yeah. to actually call her. Yeah, but she her. backtracked on that one. It, she did, but I don't know if it was, like, he called her yeah, and was like, sis, what are you doing? Yeah, you but, bugging. But, you know, Michael <laughs> Michael Jackson didn't have that opportunity to call her and say, like, yo, you're tripping. Yeah. You're making another documentary? I thought it was just very <laughs> careless of them because, as you mentioned, there were plenty of opportunities to discuss this if you felt it was an issue. Right. Um, Kobe obviously was very successful after those charges mm -hmm. were dropped. So there were plenty of opportunities to say, hey, Kobe, I, I would like to speak yeah. with you about this. Yeah. We just have about 12 years left of his career. Right. And, and <laughs> like, you know, I, just, I, think it's, I think it's just disgusting now that people are like using his death as a way to try to stir up controversy yeah. and yeah. stir up clout. Those, none, those, Damn, none they of those questions, had memorial service yet. Right. I know. None of those first of all, you asked Lisa Leslie about who he was, his character, their friendship, and that's where it, that's where it ends. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, you know, it, it's just it's yeah. wild. And then you... Again, you get on, what was it, IG she was on, or Facebook Live? Yeah. And, yeah. You don't even apologize to the family. Because it, it wasn't about no apology right. to the family. It wasn't it was about, about an her. apology. It she, was said about, she said it, she was irate with CBS. It was, yeah. cutting the clip no, she, she said it from the it beginning. Was about her, it she was, was about like, oh, we should have let, they, 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 they told me, oh, we could just we should just not say nothing and let the whole thing blow over. So that's the case, and that means this is, you're only speaking out because your reputation took a hit that's behind it. this. Yeah. It has nothing to do with you feeling bad, you thinking right. this was wrong. But according to you, Kobe was always friendly and warm to you. Yeah. So, But you can't even apologize to his family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, um, February 24th, which is obviously 224, is going to be when Kobe has his memorial service at the Staples Center. So I'm sure that would definitely be aired on television. So stay tuned for that. And another symbolic, you know, date mm -hmm. with 224 being both mm -hmm. Gianna and his uh, his numbers. I'm going to focus. This is your African King's coming, Michael Blackson. You watch the real friends do a talk. Get real with it, my son. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought.